hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I farted. What? Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby. Hey Gauls, how you doing? Vlogmas is here so let's recap the interesting parts together. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. But Feline, since we're doing like a gift a day, we're going back and forth between the two of us. Now this is what I want to see. She did this with Bexter and it was hilarious. Becky was giving her daily earrings and Amberlynn was giving her cartoons and Spongebob shirts and hats. It's nice to see the difference with Feline. Um, I was about to do my makeup, uh, but Feline was like, oh my god, let's open the first gift, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I'll be thinking that I'm the one who wants to just like, gifts gifts. I think her love language is gift giving. Honestly, it is nice seeing someone giving Amberlynn gifts low. Usually she is the one buying rooms full of gifts for her girlfriends. But let's see if her gifts are good gifts or just stupid earrings low. Ooh, she's big! God damn that laugh is hideous, but she is in her own house. She has the right to be extra and sound like this, I guess. Wait, what? Wait! Oh my god, this is an advent calendar? Wait, this is so cool. Okay, so it's Play-Doh. They're gonna, they're gonna come for me. Lola, I'm dead. She went from doing nine plus years expert Legos to doing Play-Doh in just a year. Our goal is getting old. There's 24 days. We're gonna open day one, obviously. White Play-Doh. <laughs> oh there we go. There's my snowman. <laughs> Lola can't with her. On one hand, I feel like people like what they like and we shouldn't judge them for liking it. However, it's just weird seeing a 32-year-old woman and her girlfriend doing this shit. Her whole lifestyle is of a toddler, she eats, sleeps, and play low. Now, let's watch Ogall decorate their Christmas tree and just notice how small the damn tree looks compared to her. I didn't know where to put them. All right, I want you guys to be with me for hanging my first one right here. Bam. Loves. Bam. Santa hat. She just looks tired and uncomfortable. She keeps switching her legs because they probably hurt. It's just sad seeing her like this and she couldn't show us the whole decorations because Feline probably did most of it. Anyways, anyone remember her doing the white Christmas tree? It was super nice goals. Okay, so obviously <laughs> the lighting, like it's so bright in here, but I will show you guys when it is dark outside. This is how she's looking so far. She's a cutie, I'm not gonna lie. Low goal, that tree looks like a damn mess. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a cringy gal. Baby, do you think I'm cringe? Yes, you do? Uh -huh. Well, guess what? Low, low, okay, feline, we see you go. Amberlynn is cringe off, and what do you mean in a good way? upsetting and it's not something I knew. I don't know if it's like a new thing that Kentucky's doing. You have individual insurance. It does not cover weight loss surgery. Weird. Because there are people like me in Kentucky who obviously need weight loss surgery. So insurance won't be covering that. Wait, Gaul. I thought you did your research and knew everything. She does this every single time. She claims that she has done tons of research only to find out that she doesn't know shit low. That's still not going to stop me from saying that I am going to get weight loss surgery. I know a lot of people are like, clickbait, bitch, no. That's called positive affirmations. Lol, yeah, sugarcoat that shit, Gore. We all know how you are. You applied for the insurance without thorough research and filmed the video when you were on a high. And you clickbaited it to get more traction. You are a YouTuber, Gore. Just admit it and move on. Also, positive affirmations doesn't need to be public. And in a YouTube video, lol. You can be positive and not announce it on YouTube, Gore. You just wanted to announce it because you were gaining weight daily. So I ended up calling the place where I want the weight loss surgery and I asked them, actually called today, and I asked them like, how much is it going to cost? Right out of pocket, like self-pay, etc, etc. And it comes out to $23,000. Gore, that is not that much. And for someone who claimed they made over $1 million over the years, you should have that for something urgent like a weight loss surgery. She could save all her money and be able to get the surgery in two months. But we all know Amberlynn has other priorities, like takeout and expensive Legos. $3,000 is a lot of money, and I do not spend that on Uber Eats. I have, like, a budgeting system that I do. Yeah, sure, Gaul, you have a budgeting system. We believe you. The budget is for the bills, and the rest is all for foods and for entertainment. I don't think she saves anything. If you had a good system, you should have been able to get the surgery by now. Um, obviously, bills come first, savings, taxes, like, all of that. 
very important. And I allow myself to spend money on things that I want. Gaul, you are a ma. If you saved anything, you would have gotten the surgery by now. And why is she so defensive? She has admitted before that she has a shopping problem. Why is she attacking us now? And that's why I do get things from Amazon. I sometimes go shopping and it's like, it's no one's business what I do with my money, first of all. I'm not hurting. I'm very lucky for the money that I make. And I'm very, very grateful. She is so dumb. I can't. If you don't want people's opinions, then don't talk about it. Of course, we are going to judge you when we see you spend thousands on ugly torrid clothes, expert Legos and food. Then, we hear you saying you can't afford a 20,000 surgery because of it. Also, I don't think you should be allowing yourself to shop for anything unnecessary until you get the surgery. You have allowed yourself anything you wanted for years, how about changing things up and saving everything to get the most important thing that you need right now? So I'm going to be actively saving money for weight loss surgery while I'm already saving money for several other things, but that does not stop me from also spending money on the things that I want. Am I missing something here? Why should you buy things you want when you need the money for more important things? You don't have to have everything you want, Gaul. Your needs can wait a couple of months. Because I know how to budget and I know how to save money for things that I need because that's what responsible uh, people do, okay? Gaul, if you were a responsible adult, you would have had a savings of 20,000 ready for any emergency lower. I think everyone is aware of approximately how much YouTubers make, and we know that the amount increases in December, so if she was serious about the surgery, she could get it all done by February. I'm not perfect by no means, but I don't make money just to pay bills. That's just no. We aren't talking about paying bills, we are talking about your life. Having weight loss surgery should be more important than spending thousands on clothes and toys, but we all know that's not true for her. We've reached this point on my channel where I feel guilty saying I'm so tired because people in the comments. I have 29 kids and I work 17 jobs. I'm the tired one. What are you talking about? Like, bro. You should feel guilty for being a slob and not doing a damn thing about your life, Lowell. Why does she always feels like she has the right to do things she shouldn't? Also, it's alarming that she doesn't understand that someone like she just described might feel about her, saying she is tired. You sleep at 8 a.m. and wake up at 4 or 5 maybe, then you eat and do your little Lego or coloring, and expect people to have sympathy for you being tired. What planet are you on, Gaul? I am just letting you guys know I'm not downplaying people who are mothers or work or fathers who are busy, etc. I'm just saying, I wish people would top, stop downplaying how I feel and that I'm tired because I suffer with massive insomnia due to trauma. Again, hiding behind another mental issue. She was never diagnosed with insomnia, she is just saying shit to shut people up. You can't sleep because you have nothing to wake up to Gaul. You don't do anything in the day, low. I just want to let everyone know, which I know people are going to be let down, which is totally fine, but you guys expected it anyway, right? Um, we are not continuing everyday weigh-ins because I did start Weight Watchers, and I kind of just want to do weekly weigh-ins Monday to Monday. Wow, what a shocker, Gaul. You can't even finish a damn useless challenge you set up for yourself. We are all surprised. Go back, 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 back.